We had a post viz team of about nine or ten artists for many hours a day uh, working on doing the post viz for this film. And I used After Effects for over 200 shots during that process. We could start piecing the movie together shot by shot. Um, and we would take these shots maybe to the 75% level. It wasn't quite final, but it was pretty darn good. And that quick time was then given to the vendor. You know, that way we could say to the vendor, this is, this is Jim's vision. This is what Jim is after. Our biggest usage of Adobe products, um, as far as automation goes, was our use of After Effects in our render process. The issue that we came to when we were rendering out of Motion Builder is that we need to get um, QuickTime files into the Avid. Basically what we had was a script that would run on the render farm that post Motion Builder render would generate a JavaScript that would then be run in After Effects, which would bring in the frames, bring in the sound, align it, you know, render it out. If we couldn't have automated the conversion of JPEGs to QuickTimes, then I suppose we would have imported sequences directly into the Avid, and that would mean hours and hours of import time. If you solo the background... We came onto Avatar rather late in the game, actually, to, to um, produce about 40 to 50 actual straight-on compositing shots, and they ranged from straight green screen composites to some set extension work, as well as uh, general paint fixes. Using After Effects gave us the versatility to try a number of things before coming to a, a final look. And we wrote a couple of tools to, to help our pipeline along a little bit. We used expressions and scripting in After Effects on Avatar. Essentially, expressions are a little bit of programming backdoor to making After Effects run as smoothly as possible, but also accessing data that you normally wouldn't be able to access within After Effects. Jake, it's crazy here. With some of our monitor comps, what we ended up doing was tracking the left eye and comping in the monitor with the left eye. And for the right eye, everything on those comps was expressioned over to the left eye, so that we really didn't have to do a lot uh, in that stereo part of the, the task, essentially. It, um, it saved us a lot of time, a lot of effort. It made the pipeline run a lot smooth, more smoothly. As we were doing the set extensions for a number of shots in Avatar, uh, we really utilized Photoshop and Vanishing Point in Photoshop to generate the set extensions themselves. Sam Weathington, who's the lead character, he was in a wheelchair and his legs were in green stockings where we had to paint those out and replace the entire floor and the background. So we used Vanishing Point a lot with that and then pulled those elements into After Effects by way of saving them as a VPE file, which uh, integrated the camera. We used uh, the great combination of Cine 4D and After Effects. Uh, we had a couple of toggle switches that Jim didn't like within a shot um, that we had to completely replace. So we designed, modeled those in Cinema 4D and animated them, exported them straight into After Effects and uh, finished off the shot. Those workflows are just great because they're very efficient. They save us an enormous amount of time. 